Hello students, now we will see discharge over a trapezoidal wear. Okay, so uh, consider a trapezoidal wear like this. Uh, in this, you can see the trapez uh, trapezium over here is uh, the opening is a combination of rectangular and a triangular uh, wear. Okay, so it is a combination of a triangular wear and a this one and a rectangular wear and here you know that the slope of the side uh, edges should be same okay it will be same so when you join these two triangular small uh, right angle triangular portion you will get a uh, proper triangular wear and there is a rectangular wear here, over here so uh, what will be the discharge it will be the combination of the triangular wear and the rectangular wear so q is equal to total discharge q is equal to q1 plus q2 so what is q1 q1 is the uh, discharge of uh, of the rectangular wear and q2 is the discharge of the triangular wear so this is the two uh, equations for that so this uh, the combination of these two will give you the discharge over a trapezoidal wear okay and we will see one example Find the discharge to a trapezoidal wear uh, which is 1 meter wide at the top. Okay, so uh, 1 meter wide at the top and 0.4 meter at the bottom. And it is 30 centimeter in height. So the, it is 30 centimeter in height. And the water on the uh, wear is 20 centimeter. Okay, head of the water is 20 centimeter. So that is head is represented as 20 centimeter and the total height is of the wear is uh, 30 centimeter okay cd for the rectangular portion is 0 0.62 while for triangular portion is 0 0.6 so cd for both the portion are uh, given and how to continue with the problem so you have to find out the discharge it's a very direct question so it will be the combination of a triangular and a rectangular wear so for that you need to find out what is theta by 2 or what is theta okay so in the uh, triangular portion you need tan theta by 2 isn't it so for that tan theta by 2 should be found out first all the other details are given in the question itself so tan theta by 2 how to find out tan theta by 2 so tan theta by 2 is this one isn't it tan theta by 2 is opposite side this one uh, by adjacent side this one so adjacent side you know that it is uh, here uh, you know that here you are taking the whole portion this whole portion here so to find out a tan theta by 2 uh, adjacent side you know that the total height that is 30 centimeter okay from here to here that is from here to here okay and uh, what is the opposite side opposite side is uh, this length is in it this length is opposite side so what is how to find out the opposite side you know the total width at the top edge so 1 meter minus 0.4 meter will give you what okay 1 meter minus 0.4 meter will give you the width here plus here width here plus here i think this is here so here what i have done is one this total length i know uh, minus this will give you i have uh, deducted the uh, rectangular portion so this plus this will uh, will be uh, we'll get that okay so divided by 2 will give you the one side length length of one side okay one edge so uh, 1 minus 0.4 by 2 will give you the opposite side by adjacent side by adjacent side is 30 centimeter that is 0.3 meters so tan theta by 2 value is 1 so i got the value tan theta by 2 1 so you can directly substitute in this equation so when you draw the you do the problem you first write down the equation see here 2 by 3 uh, here uh, the equation is not shown uh, but only substitution is shown so whenever you do a problem always remember that you first write the equation so here in the question 2 by 3 cd1 cd1 is given that is 0 0.62 isn't it for the rectangular portion is 0 0.62 so into 0 0.62 into length what is l here l is 0 0.4 isn't it so into 0 0.4 into root of 2g this value is known into h raised to 3 by 2 so what is h here h is 0.2 isn't it h is the height of the water or head of the water h raised to 3 by 2 now plus 
triangular portion 8 by 15 into CD2. What is CD2? 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into tan theta by 2 is 1. We have found out into root of 2G into H. H, H raised to 5 by 2. So H here again it is 0.2. Okay, so direct substitution. Uh, substitute the value, find out the answer that is 0 0.09 meter cube per second. So I hope this uh, problem is clear to you all. So students, uh, we will see at a new term known as velocity of approach. So this velocity of approach has to be considered, also has to be considered by finding out the discharge. So that is why in between I am introducing this particular term velocity of approach. Okay, so in short we can call this as VA and it is defined as uh, the velocity with which the water approaches or reaches the wear before it flows over it which means that it it already has a velocity of approach just before uh, just if, if before passing over the wear it has a velocity known as velocity of approach so due to this velocity of approach there is an additional head happening that is va square by 2g you know that there is a velocity and there will be a kinetic head automatically there will be a kinetic head so that is ha is equal to b a square by 2g that is the velo head due to velocity of approach so before when we found out the discharge we have not considered any b a square by 2g term or um, head due to velocity of approach okay so now we will see what are the uh, what are uh, what is the difference in the discharge when we consider the velocity of approach okay so here you can see uh, this is a uh, this is a wear and before we have only considered this H. This H, uh, this head only we have considered before, but when you consider the velocity of approach, there is an additional term known as HA. So it was already there uh, when it was flowing in the channel, there was already this uh, head due to velocity of approach, and uh, when it passes over the wear, it will be uh, additional head will be there as H, capital H plus HA. So uh, velocity of approach is determined. Okay, it is determined by finding out the discharge over the wear divided by area of cross section. This you know, isn't it? This is the equation Q by area. So how Q should be uh, found out? It is the, the uh, we have to find out the discharge uh, over the wear neglecting the velocity of approach and then divided by the cross sectional area of the channel will give you the velocity of approach. So and then you are finding out the head. Okay, then, then after that you are finding out the head that is Va square by 2G and now you can apply that head in the velocity uh, sorry in the discharge equation of rectangular or the triangular wear or the trapezoidal wear. Okay. So here uh, we will see for so uh, we have found out Va and then we have found out the uh, head due to uh, velocity of approach h a and what is the difference in the you can see what is the difference in the uh, discharge equation that is uh, till here it is the same uh, into h raised to 3 by 3 by 2 it was the equation isn't it 2 by 3 cdl root 2 g h raised to 3 by 2 was the equation but when you consider the velocity of approach what happens when you integrate it is from integral 0 to h it was integral 0 to h that is how uh, our equation has become h raised to 3 by 2 but when you consider the velocity of uh, approach or head due to velocity of approach the integration will come from h a to h plus h a okay so already there is a head uh, due to velocity of approach and then additional head h plus h a is there okay so that is how our equation becomes into h plus h a raised to 3 by 2 minus h a raised to 3 by 2. So this is the uh, modified equation for the uh, rectangular wire when you consider the velocity of approach. Okay. And the next one is for the triangular wire that is uh, discharge is equal to uh, this equation it is very familiar to you but when you consider the velocity of approach it will be h plus h a raised to 5 by 2 minus h a raised to 5 by 2. Okay, so this is the uh, equation. This is the equation when you consider the velocity of approach for the triangular wire. Okay, now we will see one uh, question. So in this example, uh, first I will read out the question. Here, water is flowing in a rectangular channel of 1 meter wide and 0 0.75 meter deep. So here uh, you can see uh, the um, dimensions of the rectangular channel is given. 
okay you have to uh, you, you always have to remember that rectangular channel and uh, vr is different thing uh, in the rectangular channel we are <coughs> actually attaching a device known as rectangular wear or we are constructing a uh, thing known as rectangular wear to measure the discharge okay so the cross section of the rectangular channel is given as 1 meter by 0.75 meter now find the discharge over a rectangular wear of crest length so here you can see what i have drawn here is the uh, cross section of a wear okay so here uh, we are crest length is 60 centimeter and if the head of the water over the crest of the weir is 20 centimeter so here this is 20 centimeter and the water from the channel flows over the weir okay it flows over the weir and take cds 0.62 and take va into consideration so here you have to take the velocity of approach into consideration so we will see how it is done okay so first uh, i have uh, found out uh, the area of the rectangular channel that is 0.75 meter square it is to find out the velocity of approach how velocity of approach va is equal to q by area here you can see va is equal to q by area so for that you need to find out what is the area of the cross sectional area of the channel so first i have found out the cross sectional area of the channel okay and here the next thing i uh, know is only the discharge isn't it so to find out the discharge uh, over the rectangular wear first you find out the discharge without considering the wear so here it is written clearly written neglecting the velocity of approach you find out the discharge and that discharge divided by cross section area of the channel will give you the velocity of approach so q without considering the velocity of approach first i have found out the discharge so all the uh, all the things are given here you can see uh, it is 20 centimeter i have to convert it to meter that is 0.2 meters here this is 60 centimeter 0.6 meters so here um, uh, here it is by substituting all the values you will get the uh, uh, value of the uh, discharge like this that is 0 0.0982 meter cube per uh, second okay so this is the discharge without considering the velocity of approach and now how to find out the velocity of approach this q divided by area okay q by area will give you the uh, this velocity of approach uh, here i've got the value as 0.13 uh, meters okay uh, 13 meters and here uh, here next thing is from the velocity of approach uh, i can find out what is the head head due to velocity of approach h a is equal to v a square by 2 g so here uh, i have got 0 0.31 uh, point sorry 0 0.131 uh, i have substituted the value of v a here square divided by 2 into 9.81 will give you the head due, head uh, due to velocity of approach that is 8.74 into 10 raised to minus 4 meters that is the head okay due to velocity of approach okay and uh, the next one is uh, what is asked actually actually asked is the find the discharge over the rectangular wear considering va okay so uh, we have already found out the q without considering the va but we are asked to find out considering the velocity of approach so what is the equation 2 by 3 cd l root of 2g h plus h a raised to 3 by 2 minus h a raised to 3 by 2 so here uh, substitute all the values here uh, in this equation uh, all the uh, data are given in the question okay so we found out the ha so simply substitute the value finally you will arrive at the uh, answer like this 0 0.0988 meter square meter cube per second so here mm, there's a mistake here this is meter cube per second and always remember that use a calculator to find out the find out the uh, discharge or to do any calculation always use a calculator uh, I hope this is clear to you, the velocity uh, concept, velocity of approach concept is uh, clear to you.